गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू नेक्स्ट पार्ट हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटीज इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डन दैट क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन हाउ वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट आवर क्रॉप फ्रॉम इंसेक्टिसाइड वीड्स साइड देन यूजिंग दिस and this one uh, from pesticide using pesticide using weedicide using their insecticide then we can protect our crops from insect weeds etc then in their um, topic we have done the different method for protection of our crop after this then we will do next topic is the harvesting harvesting means cutting off crop at what is the best time for the cutting our crop in crop that we will read in this topic it usually take 3 to 4 month for the cereal crop to mature that is a 3 or 4 month after the growing there is a 3 4 month for the cereal crop cereal crops means for example like this wheat like this that dal like to mature, uh, mature the process of cutting and gathering of crop gathering means together with then crop after the its maturation um, is called harvesting once the crop mature it it is harvested harvested means cut and gathered in harvesting crop are pulled out and cut close to the ground harvesting in our country is either done manually by sickly or by the machine called harvester now this time yes in asian time we can't use that machine but in that time in recently we can mas uh, use machines for harvesting after the crop is harvested the grain are separated from the uh, from the cob by a process is called threshing threshing is the process by which we are separating that uh, grains from the cow that this is done manually by striking the crop against a hard surface or by making farm animal tremble the crop a machine called thresher is also used for the threshing in large farm a machine called combine is used and a combine machine perform a dual job as a harvester for harvesting and thresher for threshing yes thresher is a machine which is used for the threshing for separation of the grain the grain separated by the above method need to winnowed winnowed also next process winnowing help in the separation of the grain, grain from the husk like this one in picture that is the separation of the grain from the husk that process is known as the winnowing the grain being heavier and fall straight to the ground in this process the grain is heavier that's why it will fall through the ground while the light husk he are blown a little further away by the wind winnowing is also done by the machine called winnowing machine this also we can do by the winnowing machine also now next our storage after that separation of the grain from the husk the next process will be our storage where we have to store it's at which temperature at which place there is a we will check for the storage that Uh, grain should be in proper way that the proper storage of the food grain is necessary to get regular supply of the food product throughout the year as proper storage protect food grain and other agriculture product from pest um, rodents and other microbes these my from these microbes pest and rodents there is a um, there we should the protect from um, our food grains due to improper storage more than 10% of crop produce is spoiled in india yes due to improper storage if we are not placing in dry uh, dry place we are not keeping in proper um, free from pest then uh, our crop will be destroyed spoiled spoilment destroyed the harvested crop grain have most more moisture content so before storing them the grain are properly dry in the sun to reduce moisture content yes this is the necessary point that before storing of the grain we should dry that grain properly that is the free from the moisture on a commercial scale however mechanical drivers with the hot blowing air are used this prevent attack by insect pest bacteria and fungi the from this one we can protect from 
insect, pest, bacteria and fungi. The dry food grains are then stored in suitable storage container then we should be store after the dry of the drain then we should store in proper storage container on a small scale former store grain in a jute bags and a metallic bins yes this one is a small scale if we we having the uh, less amount of the grains then we can store in the uh, jute bags and the metallic bins now next on a commercial large scale food grains are stored in the uh, gunny bags in uh, generia and in soil like this one in picture shown there we can store our grain the gunny bags filled with dry food and grains are sacked in a large granary godam they are kept about 60 cm in 60 70 cm away from the wall of the wooden platform yes we, we should not attach that that grains near to the wall we should keep some distance that is the away from the moisture these platform are about 10 15 cm above of the ground yes from this one or side also and from the down side also that away from the ground because there is a prevention from the mesh, uh, mesh, um, moisture then so that they do not get spoiled due to moisture because we are preventing this one from a moisture pathway are provided between the stacks of grain filled bags for periodic inspection spraying and the fungi mixtion that we should check these bags periodically means time to time we should check that there is a some infection that spraying and the fumigation we should use for, for protection of our grains this treatment protect the food grains from pest and the microorganisms by checking this one then we are spraying uh, there is a inspect spraying uh, that insecticide like this one there is a protect of grain from pest and microorganisms next the soil are big and tall and the cylindrical structure they store different stocks of food item on the different level each level has the opening through which grain can taken out when required that we should store that grain according to level that is the which type of the quantity quality of the grains that we should store if there is a some less poor quantity then we should use before and there is a good quantity then we should use after some time to ensure the availability of food grains throughout the year and every place in country and to meet emergency requirements the government had built a huge reserve stock of food grains this stock of food grains is called buffer stock and buffer stock also maintain the price line of food grain in the open market this one is the buffer stock that is the maintaining the food this one now next our increasing crop yield this one is the how we can increase our crop protection crop production next our hybridization next our green revolution then food from the animal this topic we will do tomorrow for your homework then you have to try to solve this part section a in section a i think we have done all thing mostly portion we have done so these question you have to do in notebook what is are meant by the manuring what is the irrigation name the two type of the crops these already we have done which crop is grown in a rainy season yes what is the first step for the growing a crop name the nitrogen fixing bacteria present in a root nodules of the leguminous this a part complete you have to do in notebook this is your homework okay